Hello, everybody, and a good day to you all today. I am talking about Pitch, episode number five, Alfonso Gomez Chavez. Now, in this episode here, it's all about trading. Players getting traded to other teams in this episode right here. And so everybody on the page is freaking out because they're they worried about if they're going to get traded or not. And you got Jenny, she's freaking out because she thinks Blip's going to get traded. And Blip freaking out because he's thinking he, he might get traded. And then while that's going on, you have the, you have the relationship between um, Mike and Amelia. They have a little rocky start because they, like, Mike wants to get closer to Amelia. He wants her to stay over and stay the night. Instead of her, 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 every time they, they have sex, she just runs out and leaves the house. He wants her to stay. And because he has a lot of groupie fans, which are a lot was female, they saw her car and they messed it up. And a flick of, and a, and a flip of a tongue that he says kind of puts them in um them two in a bad way. Yes. And then you have Oscar, who's who um who's in charge of the trading, and he's trying to find players who he, who he can trade with and then get, but also stay in the budget at the same time without going over. And you also get more flashbacks about Jenny's life. You find out how Jenny's father died. You know he, you know he died in a car accident. But you realize, when you find out who was responsible for it in this episode right here. And how much of an impact it had on her life and her psyche. And why she acts the way she does now. Now, I actually didn't enjoy this episode a whole lot. But there were, but there were some parts that really made no sense to me. It made no sense to me at all. First of all, before I get into that, Jenny is really messed up. This girl is messed up, and she's going to need some therapy. Fast. Because I can see her snapping on somebody pretty soon. Yes. Because if you if you see the flashback of her life and the stuff she's been through to get to this point right here, she's going to lose it soon. She, she cannot. She, she won't be able to keep it together for so long. Because first of all, because she got the pressure of being the first woman baseball player in the major leagues, filled with filled with all men. So she got that going on. Then all the stuff that she's been through, the sacrifice that she made, but from her father just to get to this point. Then the fact that she lost her father because of the game is inside of her head. And then her relationship with her mom, and you see why she acted the way towards her. And so all these things going on inside of her brain, and when she acts all paranoid because she thinks Blip is gonna get traded, because to her Blip is pretty much like family, practically the only family that she really can count on and rely on. And so if she thought that he was gonna get traded, she's just freaking out about this, which also led her to do something stupid like confront um Oscar about this, where they had a oh an Oscar really put her in a place. And he messed her up real, real bad. He, he, he probably gave her a whooping right there in the office. And I didn't see that one coming at all. I mean, it was a messed up scene to look at, but it was also interesting to look at at the same time. Because you never really see Oscar get that angry of an upset before. He always looked worried or kind of scared and trying to keep things together. But this time, he, 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 he unloaded on her. It was like, holy mother. He, he just gave her a spanking right there. And right there and he, he just said, go to your room and no supper for you. I just, holy mother, that was harsh. That was harsh. But the dumb part is, the part I don't understand is, everybody kept telling Blip and Jenny that Blip, you're not going to get traded. They're not going to trade you. You're fine. You're safe. You don't have to worry about nothing. But he's still freaking out about this. Why? I don't know. I mean, yes, it's possible he could, he, is, is it possible he could get traded? Yes, it's possible. But everybody kept, kept everybody was guaranteeing him he's not going to get traded. He's, he's okay. He's fine. And then Jenny, She's freaking out about this for reasons because her, of her past. He's going to get traded too. And everybody keeps telling you, he is safe. He is okay. Quit worrying about this. He's not going to get traded. But they just wouldn't believe it. For reasons, well, we understand why Jenny didn't, didn't want to believe it. But still, Blip, he actually should know better. I don't know why he's acting like, acting like this. Oh. It made no sense. Like, what is wrong with you? Because the thing is, they kept focusing on Blip getting traded, that, that, that the person who got traded, we didn't, I didn't see it coming. Because, now this is a spoiler right here, Tommy, Tommy Miller, played by um, Ryan Dorsey, 
Ron, Tommy gets traded. And the, the thing is, though, because he was focused on his friend who got traded, which was funny on this episode because he got traded so many times that he ended up back on the same team he left. He just, he, he, he just did a boomerang. They threw him out there, and then he just came right back. I, I, I bet his, his, I guess, I guess he must have got sick of Tyler flying in planes. He said, he, he, cause the thing though, he went to one team that they traded him. He went to another team they traded him. Then he went to another team that they traded him. And that's to know he's back to where he started. And then the guy who thought wasn't going to get traded, wasn't worried about it, he got traded. And because if, if the thing is though, the show was so focused on Blip, you didn't even think that he was going to get traded at all. Turns out he did. Tommy got traded, which I didn't see coming. Blip who we all knew was going to get traded. I don't know why he's freaking out about this. He, and he didn't. And the thing is, they, they celebrating like, like, it was, like it was like a big victory. What's the, what, what, what was the victory? We all knew, we already knew he wasn't going to get traded. Everybody kept telling you he wasn't going to get traded. Why, why are you so surprised? I don't... I probably just messed me up. I just said, okay, fine, whatever. But overall, I still didn't enjoy the episode. And like I said, Jenny needs help. She needs help real bad. Because she also finds out about Mike and Amelia. That they're a couple. And she acting like she's okay. But you can tell she's not okay. She's not okay at all. Because she acts all cool with Amelia. But then when Mike calls her, that's a whole different kind of that's a whole different um different set of feelings and emotions she's going through right now. Now I don't know how this is gonna make her feel or how she's feeling but because of Mike dating Amelia. Is it because he's a baseball player dating a, her, her manager, or is this, or she looks or because she, she looks up to Mike, and you think that if the relationship goes bad, he hurt her. At some I'm not so sure. I'm not exactly sure. I, I can't get it out of her head. But right, but all I know for sure is she needs help, and she needs the bad, really, really bad. Well, that's all I gotta say about that. So check out the show for yourself. We'll see my word for it. Hopefully when you watch it, you will enjoy have fun watching it too. Now, I am enjoying the show. This episode was just a little weird for me. That's all. Even though I still did enjoy it. Well, leave your comments down below. Let me know what you thought about the episode of Pitch. And like I said before, if you haven't been watching this, so check it out for yourself. We'll see my word for it. Hopefully when you watch it, you will enjoy have fun watching it too. Well, give my channel a big old like the thumbs up. Boom. And subscribe to my channel and share. I really would appreciate it. So like I always say in my dreams in real life, I am the Ninja Rabbit. A peace out of peoples.